measurement of memories okay now what is measurement of memory um, i gave you a brief idea when we started off with the classes that whenever we count the storage we count the storage in terms of bytes and whenever we count transfer of bits transmission of data we count it in terms of bits so whatever it is whenever we actually up till this level whatever that we studied was in terms of kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabyte and petabytes so a byte nibble kilo mega giga tera peta we are used to with these terms aajkal hamare paas hard disk hoti hai 1 terabyte 2 terabytes half uh, terabyte 512 gb and all since the new syllabus 9618 is iso 9000 certified so it follows few standards you see over the time these terminologies are there but their consideration and understanding is actually lost somewhere or few of the standards were changed in last few years and yet we are studying the old thing and that is true for your o levels and the previous syllabus current a2 is, is still studying that old system so first you need to make it clear that what is new system and what is old system so that you could clear up your understanding up till now we were taught because the syllabus said, said so because the book said so because the, your, your teachers even i myself were taught that way that one kilobyte is 1024 bytes all right one kilobyte is 1024 byte but this new system you see standards are change there is one unit system all over the world which is called si let me share it with you before the start of class i was just fetching the google page for it you see this system is called si international system of units the abbreviation is si all right international system of units this is actually what we were always be uh, referring to but this does not go with 1024 thing this goes with 1000 bytes things all right so this is base 10 whatever binary that we study is base 10 so this is si base 10 system that we have been studying but with a different figure let's see how what i'm trying to say is see memory size let's say we had 1 kilobyte we used to put it this way 1 kb and this was actually 1 into 10 to power 4 which is 1000 bytes all right 1000 bytes not 1024 by this these are uh, what standards that those are enforced nowadays si standards si base 10 standards acha second one was 1 megabyte or 1 mb 
that is 1 into 10 to power this is base 10 system 1 into 10 to power 6 and that would be 1 How many are these? One million bytes. All right. Similarly, one gigabyte. That is one GB. That is one into ten to power nine. So one triple zero then triple zero then triple zero then we have one terabyte one tb that is one into ten to power twelve so you know how many and then we have got one Peta. All right, petabyte. One PB. That is one into ten to power fifteen. All right. So, what is important to understand is you have to clear up your understanding. So we used to had a different calculation for a different system so this is what it is now actually enforced in current standards of international system of units SI base 10 system the system of numbering shown in this um, writing or table only refers to some storage devices which is technically inaccurate which is technically inaccurate. It is based on SI base 10 system of units where one kilo is equal to 1000. As in our general life, if we say something one kg, it means 1000 grams. One TB hard disk drive would allow the storage of one into 10 to power 12 according to this system. However, since memory size is actually measured in terms of power of two another system has been proposed by the international electro technical commission iec it is based on the binary system so what was the mistake that we have been doing we were actually taking a system which was made for binary number system and we were applying to that over the binary electronic measurements for computer devices and that went bad now it is a different system which is not SI rather it is another system that has been proposed by the international electro technical Commission IEC so earlier what we studied was SI base 10 system now it is <clears throat> IEC international electrotechnical binary system means it is not uh, base 10 it is for binary number system now what is actually in it for us let's see this is let's say one kibi byte one kibi ki bi byte and how do we actually put it in short form one k i and b 
one kibibyte. It is equivalent of two to power ten, not ten to power, but two to power ten. That makes it thousand twenty four bytes. Get the idea? So we were taking terms from this system, and we were taking measurements from this system. So this system is actually kibibyte, and then we have got one maybe byte, m e b i b y t e, one maybe byte. That is one m i b. Pay attention to the case of alpha characters we are using. This should be the way they are. That is two to power twenty. That would become one zero four eight five seven six bytes. And then we have got one GB byte. G I B I byte. That would be one G I B. That is two to power thirty. That would become these calculations are tough. One zero seven three. Seven four one eight two four bytes. I would not write any more these side of bytes. You may calculate it on your own. One TB byte. T E B I B Y T E. One TB byte. That is two to power forty. All right, then we have got uh, one PB byte for beta. PB byte. One PIB. That is two to power. Actually, fifty. It's a long, long, long number. So I hope that you got the idea. This system. Over here, that you have just observed, IEC binary system is uh, more accurate. Internal memories such as RAM should be measured using the IEC system, a 64 GIB RAM could therefore store 64 into 2 into 30 bytes of data. 64. Let's say if you have 64 GIB, then that would be 64 into 2 into 30, whatever the number of bytes. All right. So that is what i wanted to tell you this is now very important to understand i don't know how in exam it would appear old way or new way but since the syllabus is actually now showing this calculation so you would have to actually get used to with it all right so we will be using this one for reference always let's see how do you understand it so let me revise it new measurement of memories are actually in front of you it is not based on SI old system. 
rather it is based on new IEC system. SI old system, which is base 10 system, is actually proven wrong over the period of time where one clo byte we always consider that it is 1024 bytes. First, you have to clear up your idea that it is base 10 system. So coming up with 1024 would be harder. So if it is clo, it is 1000. If it is mega, it is 1 million, sort of that. So for computers measurement, we use IEC binary system. All right, so this is for storage. Uh, one TB byte is actually two to power 10. There is a question. My previous concept from my former teacher was you can round off 1024 to 1000 for the ease of calculation. It is an okay approach for file estimation and calculation. Your teacher, whatever the teacher that, uh, whatever the teacher that has said is uh, correct. All right, up till now. Now onwards, you will take this one. I myself used to do that. A few years back, what happened that uh, CIE specifically has started writing uh, in uh, marking schemes that if any, at AS level, and O level that if any student would round off 1024 to 1000, their marks will be cut. So they were themselves were actually forcing, enforcing this, that you, a student should take 1024 thing. All right. So that is there. Now onwards, we will follow this. But no rounding of no nothing. All right. No, no rounding, no tricks. If there would be a method, if there is a trick that is supposed to be a method only, then we will use it. Otherwise, no assumptions. All right. And if I say you can do this, then you should ask me, do you have any evidence to tell us that we can do this or you are telling it on your own? So if I would have any evidence from marking a scheme or book or syllabus or anything, then only I will try to enforce. Otherwise, I'll go by book. All right. So over the time, there will be few more things uh, that, that, uh, uh, that will clash with your previous understanding. So we will learn about it.